too. I am gonna go do something very exciting today. Um, I don't know if I should tell you now or make it a surprise. So what I'm gonna do is I have to drive about an hour. I'm going to this really cute nursery that I've been wanting to check out called, I think it's pronounced Veritas, Veritas. I don't know, Veritas Tropicals, I think. Um, it is a small business owned by a girl who I think is like my age, so probably somewhere between like 25 and 30. She has really cool rare plants. Um, so I'm excited to go check that out. And I actually purchased my number one top wishlist plant from her. Well, top attainable wishlist plant from her two nights ago. And I'm gonna go pick it up today. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you along with me. While I'm out and about of my little town, I'm gonna go check out a couple big box stores again. I'm gonna go to Walmart, maybe two Walmarts, Home Depot. I don't know if they have any other like Lowe's or anything like that. I might also go to this um, littler nursery called Sunny Farms, which is like a cute nursery and health food store, I think. I haven't been there in a really long time, but I know they have plants. And then, yeah, I think that's it. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day and I'm gonna take you with me to go plant shopping. So I'll see you when we get there, bye. <laughs> So I'm a little frustrated, not really at anyone but myself, but it's fine. Um, so I, since I drove like over an hour to get here, I double checked this morning. I wanted to leave really early in the morning, but I checked their Instagram and they didn't open until 11. And I have to go to Costco after all of this. And I want to make sure I went to Costco last. So like my town's here and then Squim is the next town where they have Costco and all the other places. And then even farther than that is Port Angeles where this plant shop is. So I had intended I killed a bunch of time this morning. I wanted to leave early and then I checked their Instagram and they said they opened at 11. So I like figured it all out so I could get here at 11. I'm in Port Angeles now. I want to get to Port Angeles at 11 and then go get my plant and then go back and do all the other stuff so that I didn't have cold stuff from Costco sitting in my car because it's actually pretty hot today. But then I put it into Google Maps and Google Maps told me they don't open until 12. So I messaged them to check and they don't open until 12. So now I am in Port Angeles and I have an hour to kill and I don't really know what to do here. None of the places I want to go are in this town. They're all in Squim and I'm not going to drive 20 minutes back to Squim. So there's a Walmart here. So I'm going to go look at their plants and do that. And then I guess get a coffee and kill time it's just annoying because i really wanted to get all this stuff done early so that i could get back home and like spend my afternoon in the sun because it's one of like the nicest days we ever get in washington but it's okay it's just how it goes if i knew they opened at 12 i probably would have done everything except for costco first and then gone to costco last on my way home so i still could have got done earlier but now i feel like i'm stuck doing everything Probably after one, I'm not gonna get home till like three or four. That really sucks. So my, like my whole entire day off is wasted. But it's okay. So we're gonna go into Walmart, check it out, have a fun time, go get a coffee to cheer up, and then go get my wish list plate. See you soon. These little pots are so cute.
telling you, I've been really into cactus lately. These are so cool. I like these. I wish that they weren't so sad. I like these peperomia too. Everything in here is pretty sad. Some succulents. I'm not super interested in succulents. Pop those. Some more of these cool cacti. Obtusifolia, more string of banana. I love Venus flytraps, but every time I've got one, I've killed it. It'd be great for my fungus mats, though. Elephant ear bulbs. I tried to grow one of these and nothing happened. Bunch more succulents. Lucky bamboo. There's nothing that interesting here today. I've never looked at plants at this Walmart before. I realized that I never filmed or showed you my rug, but I got this rug. And I ended up putting it in my living room. My husband hates it, but I think it's really cute. Oh, there's some plants over here I missed. Some snake plants. I got that one planter last time that was really cute, but they have this one here for $5. And then I actually think these are really cute. Those are $35, so I'm not gonna buy one, but they are cute. And then they have these two. They actually have some cute pots right now, which I'm excited about. I wish that they had more in stock. Okay, and they have these plant stands, which I'm kind of into. Also for $5. Can't pull that out and fill at the same time. Ooh, okay, there's cool stuff here. There's this. Okay, I was able to get it out. I really kind of want this. Okay, I'm really sorry if you can't hear me because I'm on the side of a really busy street. It was so stressful getting here. This town has always been stressful for me because there's one way road in and a one way road out and there's a lot of traffic. Like, look at this. It was like impossible to cut in. But I'm here and I'm still early. It's... 11.50 right now and they open at 12 and their open sign is flipped but I don't want to be that person so I'm gonna wait until they're actually open I don't know that feels really weird they don't really have a sign outside but I can see all the plants in the windows so I know that this is it I'll show you what it looks like can't really see like the plants But as far as I can tell, there's no sign on the door or anything. I didn't notice a sign on the street either, so if you weren't looking for it, then you probably wouldn't find it. But we're here. I'm excited. I've been wanting to check out this shop for a while, um, but it's, like I said, a long drive, so I wanted to... I don't know. I was going to make a trip with my roommate, but then I found this plant, so here we are. Somebody's outside freaking out. All right, well, I'm gonna sit here and kill some time for a little bit, and then I will show you when I go inside. You are so cute. How was your drive? It was good.
Okay, I have secured the bag. But I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. You might have got a little peek of it just now. But I ended up getting one additional plant. And I'm not gonna take anything out of here until I get home, so I'll show you when I get home. But I just wanna say that that shop was so cute and I hope that I got good footage. There was music playing, so I might have to like voice over or something. She was so nice and it was just like great to go there and I'll probably make another trip out here soon and bring Jordan or somebody. It was so much fun. Um, I'm gonna go do the rest of my little errands and then when I get home, I will show you what I got. Okay, so I'm at the next Home Depot and I'm already impressed because their garden center is flipping huge and they have all kinds of stuff outside, like cool stuff, like giant bananas and like elephant ears. Um, I'll show you all that. But I'm gonna go in here and then I think I'm probably gonna be done and just go to Costco because I have to do that. I think this is the last place I'm gonna go. We'll see. We have these giant bananas. And look at this. $25 for a regal shield. That's nuts. More bananas, more regal shields. Bird of paradise. This more regal shields. The home you go closer to me does not have this kind of cool stuff outside. I have these arrangements. This is so cool. For some reason, they have like a bunch of fake plants. These are all fake plants. Inside they have some palms, Dracaena, snake plants. Nothing particularly cool. Big snake plants. Bird of paradise. These monsters and these cool planters again. And they do have a big regal shield inside. They're only $25. If I had space, I would buy one. Pearls and Jade. Begonias. Hanging stuff. Nothing particularly cool. I'm feeling nervous filming in here. There's a lot of people. These are really cute little planters. Oh, I missed a couple of plants over here. You might find interest. There's a hay eye back here. Those are the only trending tropicals I see so far. Whole bunch of succulents. I'm really boring talking about succulents because they don't interest me at all. Just some more mostly common plants. The strawberry begonia. Okay, so I am back in my car. I'm Finally on my way home. I'm sorry my car is such a mess. It's just a constant embarrassment. But anyways, um, so I'm on my way home. I went to two different Walmarts, I think. Maybe just one Walmart. Home Depot. I don't know. A bunch of places. So I'm gonna head home now. And when I get to the house, I will show you my wishlist plant that I can finally check off and I'm so freaking excited and I did get one other plant while I was out and about today I got something else from Veritas and um, I still don't know if I'm saying that right Veritas I think is how you say it I 
love that little shop. I want to go back again. It's so cute and she was so nice. I think her name is Jade and she's just so sweet and knowledgeable and she was telling me everything that I possibly need to know about writing this plant. So although I am pretty like confident in my skills with plants, this one makes me really nervous because I've never purchased a cutting that was this expensive or like this high up on my wish list. I'm sure everyone can guess what it is. But yeah, I am really excited to show you guys and yeah, I don't know. I will see you when I get home. back at home please ignore my extreme mess of a house i hope that it's cropped in a way that you can't see how messy my house is right now but i'm just going to show you the two plants that i got i will start with the most exciting one i'm so excited okay um it kind of fell out on my way home the, actually, the method that she has it rooting in, she called it the parfait method, and she got it from someone on Instagram. I, She sent me the name of the person, so I'll put a little note to show you who it is. But basically, this method is... I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a layer of Lekka across the bottom, perlite in the middle, and then spag moss on the top layer, and she said that this has been foolproof for her. Typically, I root in moss, but she said that she's had a lot of issues with rotting. And to be fair, I have never really rotted anything this exp or rooted anything this expensive or this like precious before. So I'm gonna go with her method and get it situated back in here. You kind of do it like Lekka, so you put water in the bottom with the Lekka, just like a little bit. Well, she said you put it in a cash bow with Lekka or with water in the bottom, so very similar to Lekka, but there's perlite and moss in there as well so we're gonna try that um okay so you can see the variegation there's like a tiny bit of damage right here but i've never seen an elbow that didn't have a little bit and then here's the other leaf and then you can see it already has some roots and then really good variegation in the stem no rotting or anything. I'm so pumped, you guys. I've been putting off buying one of these for so long because I've wanted one for a few years and pre-pandemic, they were like, I don't know, $100, $150. Like you could get a cutting that wasn't crazy expensive. And I put it off because I was like, I'll just get one eventually. I don't need it right now. And then the pandemic happened and they've skyrocketed. They've gone up so much. So I've just been putting off buying one for a really long time. I almost bought one over Christmas. My husband said he would buy one for me and we found one. I think it might have actually been a tie. And it was close to $300, but it was a plant. There were roots and everything. Well, it was like three leaf cutting, um, but it was rooted and everything seemed really good. And then the day I was supposed to go pick it up from her in Seattle, she told me that she pulled it out of her greenhouse and it was rotting and she didn't feel comfortable selling it, which I really appreciate the honesty. She could have probably hid that from me pretty easily, but I missed out on that. So I finally have one and I am just so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna get this one back situated. Everything looks pretty good to me. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm so excited. So this is my very first variegated Monstera. It is an Albo. I actually really like Thai constellations, but I don't want to buy one right now because although I don't think that they're going to be super cheap or super available, Costa Farms is tissue culturing them right now and you can't tissue culture an Albo. So I figured it would be better to spend the money on an Albo versus a Thai since I think they'll be a lot more readily available versus an albo. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna get that guy situated um, after this. 
And then I'll just show you the other plant that I got while I was there. I obviously have a shopping problem, but I got this Hoya. And I've recently really got into Hoyas. I've got a few from doing plant trades on Reddit mostly. And then I just have a bunch of little cuttings of random ones and I'm starting to really like them. They're pretty cute and everyone says they grow really slow, but my Hoyas have actually been growing a lot faster. And I don't know if that's because I expected them to grow like painfully slow, but they've been growing pretty fast for me, I think. I have new growth on almost all my Hoyas and I don't know, I just don't think they're like painfully slow. But this is a Hoya Macrophylla and it was $30. It's really nice because I don't have a lot of room for big plants. I even talked to Jade about this at the nursery today. Um, getting like little two inch Hoyas is nice because they fit in my Ikea greenhouse. They don't take up a lot of space so I can grow my collection without buying giant plants. So yeah, I used to buy huge plants. Now I'm always on the hunt for tiny little plants, which I do eventually grow big, but you know, not as quickly. They don't take up as much room as fast. I can't stop staring. Like I know it's kind of small and I wasn't even sure what size to expect because the Instagram picture, you couldn't really tell. I actually expected it to be a little bit smaller, but I'm so happy. I can't wait to watch this thing grow. Just so excited. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun going on a little houseplant adventure. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you want me to continue making this type of content. If you have other ideas for videos, leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.